Buenos días y bienvenidos a Madrid. I could have loved to join you this morning. It has not been possible, but I send you this message. This message uh, to welcome you to Madrid, but this message to stress how important I think it is that we keep this dialogue open. What we are trying to get is so tricky, so difficult, but so relevant that we need to keep this conversation open to get a much more deeper understanding on how we can succeed in this transformation that we are promoting. In the Spanish presidency of the European Union, knowing that this will probably be one of the very last opportunities to end this cycle at the European level, we had a very charged agenda. A very charged agenda in crucial issues. In particular, with three main issues when we talk about the environment. The first of them, how we could ensure that the climate and energy policies wouldn't count on this acceleration of our decisions during this mandate. Secondly, we needed to ensure that we could respond to what we agreed to do in Montreal last December. Yes, ecosystems, biodiversity is very important, are very important for all the Europeans. Maritime, marine ecosystems, but also inland ecosystems. This was why, knowing that it was not enough to protect and conserve, but we needed to restore, this was part of our agenda together with other key aspects dealing with international negotiations on some very relevant treaties dealing with biodiversity and maritime ecosystems, including the possibility to count on an international binding treaty dealing with plastics in the ocean. There was a third piece which was very important. We talk about zero pollution zero pollution on the ground, so protecting our soils against the climate, the climate impacts, but also against pesticides, fertilizers, or the erosion, desertification risk, but also air quality, dealing with mobility, how we produce our cars, dealing with waste management and dealing with packaging, but also dealing with waste water, how we could improve the efficiency, the effectiveness of the use of such a precious good, which is water. There was a, th a fourth piece which was very important too, which was uh, the one related to how we could understand the strategic autonomy that uh, we committed to ensure in the years to come. This was why when thinking about uh, the strategic raw materials, we knew that we had to knock on the door of the circular economy. We need to be much more effective, much more efficient. We need to recycle and reuse all the materials that we have already used and that are precious. And in order to get that, the eco-design is going to be very important. More than that, it is also a very good opportunity to build new partnerships, to really work on co-development and to build alliance with third countries. This was something that has been very important during the Spanish presidency of the European Union. But my message is not only on substantial aspects of the agenda. My message tries to convince you that in this critical time when we Europeans, we humankind, know that these are precious values in a very limited, finite world, we need to ensure that the transformation that we need to facilitate in a, such a short period of time, so in such an intense manner, does count on people. People need to be sure that this is inclusiveness, that this is new opportunities, that the deep transformations that we are promoting do not create additional difficulties, but do ensure that there are opportunities to facilitate a, uh, the proper response without creating additional harm. So the social dimension of the environmental transformation of our economies, of our societies, is really important. And the social dimension being combined with the economic parameters, with the environmental science, is part of uh, what we would like to ensure in this conversation with you, working in think tanks and research uh, communities that understand that a deeper understanding on what it is going on, a proper modeling on how it can evolve, a proper assessment of the policies that we promote to be sure 
that there is an integrated and updated review of what we do is so important. This is why I think that counting on the results of your assessments, research, programs and understandings is going to be key, not only for the Spanish presidency, but for us Europeans as such. So to evolve towards a new European cycle where the connection between the society, the economy, the institutions and the environment is fully reconciled. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks so much for sharing with us your knowledge and your understanding. And please enjoy and discuss. It is very important and very appreciated.